Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update, recording this Sunday morning, April 7th. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. Uh, quick talk about the markets and then we'll jump into the trades for the week. So obviously the big news of the week was the sell-off on Thursday. The first part of the day we were kind of grinding higher, it looked like we were, we were going to push to new all-time highs, and then things just fell apart when uh, right around the time Kashkari, one of the feds, were, were speaking. Uh, big sell-off, uh, big bounce back, bigger bounce back on Friday, certainly, than I expected. Uh, but I still think we're not uh, ready to go back to all-time highs. I think I think we've got some more downside here in this little short term, at least. Just my opinion. But the big thing for me is, ladies and gentlemen, we have VIX back over 16. So hopefully we can sustain that a little bit, keep these premiums juiced, and uh, give us some opportunities to have some fun with a little bit higher implied volatility. Uh, it's pretty much the same story in all the indices. Uh, the Russell, um, not as big of a bounce back on Friday. Gold continues to push new all-time highs. You know, I just, I, I don't think this inflation thing's over, my friends. Co commodities are exploding. Gold, silver, cocoa, you know, I mean, across the board, commodities are are exploding. So uh, I, uh, I expect there to be some surprise issues here coming up that, uh, um, you know, the Fed is, is, is acting like do not exist. So just a feeling, just my spidey senses uh, thinking that uh, this, this inflation thing's not quite over. Uh, notes and bonds down, 10-year yield popping back up almost to 4.4. Oil, up for the week, Natty Gas. I'm not going to go through these other ones, but uh, we'll we'll end on Bitcoin. Bitcoin settling in at about sixty eight thousand. All right, so let's jump into the trades for the week. <clears throat> a little bit of a red week for me. Um, I did not take advantage enough. I feel like of the down move. And then I got hurt a little bit on the bounce back because I wasn't expecting such a big bounce back. So a lot of those were just in my opinion-based trade. You'll see I'm like my directional futures. I, I, I took a pretty heavy bias on those and got smoked pretty good, but um, not a bad week. Um, certainly not in tune with the first week of the month that I've seen in previous months this year. So that, that's, a, uh, that's a good thing. But Here's zero DTE. So small red on zero DTE. I'll break these down a little bit uh, more individualized. So my AM ratio trades, three of those, two were losers, minus 6K on those. Uh, my challenge portfolio continues to do really well, regardless of the environment, which is kind of cool. Uh, so plus 11.8 in my challenge portfolio. Uh, if I look at each one of those individual strategies, we've got the one, my one DTE, three out of four winners plus three thousand, my one to one plus thirty two hundred, my three two plus eleven hundred, my pH only got tranche one and tranche two because toss was having some issues. Tranche three would have been a winner as well. But uh, plus 2,400 on those. And then my Ricks. One small winner, or excuse me, one small loser that was actually a bot error. My bot fired and it shouldn't have, so I turned around and closed it. Uh, so that was minus 225. And then the, the, the other real one was plus 2,100. So that continues to do well. Uh, my end of day Magic Mahomes trades continue to do well. Now, some of these I'm starting early, like this one. That wasn't a true end of day like I teach it, but uh, still worked out really well. And then $2,000 one there. So plus 4500 on my Mahomes trades for the week. No FOMC. Uh, I'm doing a 1DTE hedge now. I'm using RUT, a little bit red for the week, but that's that's doing well. Uh, JSPs, uh, one was uh, mechanical, and that was good for plus 1,500. One was discretionary, minus 4,400. That goes in line with what I was saying about taking an assumption on Friday. 
Uh, NDX, uh, a little bit red on the week, minus 2,500. pH. Let's just do all my pHs here. So this is my power hours, not including my challenge portfolio. Um, minus 7,000. Actually, that, that is not including, oh, I know, I remember. So I had some PM iron condors and some uh, PM tranches that kind of got mixed in with my with my power hour. So actually, let me just include those and that'll give a better picture. Yeah. So well, it's still not showing. All right. I got to go. I got to go sort a couple things out here in Trader Sync. But regardless, red minus 19. The PL is all correct. I just got to recategorize some of these trades because they got grouped together by mistake. All right. So then uh, price action. Uh, a little bit green on my price action trade, 66% win rate, a little over 4,600. Quiet midday tranches, all green, plus 3,000. Rick, Rick's outside of my uh, challenge portfolio, plus 4,200. And then O2 call calendar, I think just, yeah, the two, one loser, one winner, small red. All right, so that's it for zero DTE. Let's go to directional futures. All right, so these were a these were a source of pain. Uh, one of my I sized too large. The other ones just I mean they were just losers. I had one big MOC loss minus five k. The others were. Kind of my uh, discretionary directional future. So took a hit in that account to the tune of 12K on the week. Uh, let's see. Ducks. Yeah, no closing trades. Just a couple of opens. Dynamic butterflies. One winner, one loser. I actually closed this one thinking it was up. Their toss is having some issues with their P and L display. So I actually, I was in a hurry and I didn't have time to actually figure it out. And I thought I was closing that for a winner. Ended up being a $130 loser, but uh, net net on those two uh, small green. And then dynamic calendars. Uh, a little bit green for the week. Had a B and B one two small loser, just all kind of small losers, small winners. Nothing, nothing even over a thousand bucks on those. Uh, I do have some good size on that I put on Friday, heading into next week. So hopefully those do well. My calendar uh, account back at new all time highs. Not all due to calendars, but I'll go over that on the monthly. Uh, option selling. On the option selling, yeah, no no closing trades there. And then lastly, portfolio margin. Uh, just one closing trade that was a winner is a golden shark. The rest of these are still open. So that's it, my friends. Everybody have a good rest of your weekend. Look forward to some fun trading this week with VIX above 16. Take care. Talk to you soon.